All right, change of plans. We'll get to Mayweather McGregor. This feels a little bit like Kramer bringing out Jerry's ex, the show, but Adam Schefter joins us now on the Shell Penzoil performance line. Um, This was not scheduled. Schefter has called in to talk to the guys from Shefty. Schefter, what's up? Big Cat, PFT, I just wanted to give you guys a very warm welcome to the ESPN headquarters in Bristol. Ryan asked me if I was going to be there today. I'm sorry, I'm not. Some previously scheduled meetings, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't bringing any cease and desist letters to you guys while you were there mm. and that you guys were comfortable and happy in that radio space and that everything went smoothly here today. I, I, I appreciate you admitting that you're dodging us. That was nice of you. <laughs> which uh, which cell phone are you calling in on? I, one of only two. Calling in on that particular number. I'm truly sorry that I wasn't there. If you guys had come yesterday, we could have had this in person for the three straight hours. I would have joined you in the studio for that entire time. We would have gotten, ju- would gotten the jugs machine going. Remember that? <laughs> with you guys as well or he not? is yeah handsome hank this feels like a better little, looking in person adam this feels a little stalkerish i'm not gonna lie adam i think you've like read all of our stats and you know everything about us and you're just letting us it's almost like a sending a message like hey i know that you guys are there and i know where you live Ooh, adam well, um maybe we can break a little news on this podcast is adrian yeah. peterson still hoping to play two years in new orleans <laughs> Adrian Peterson wants to keep going until he said the other day he's 37. Ooh. And, and he now, wants to keep doing this. And he Shep- wants for a long time. Uh, Adam, you were saying like the backstory to this is that you've been blocking these guys for years, and, mm. and I don't even where where do we stand right now? <laughs> no, we're unblocked. No, 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 no. Basically, uh, I, I think they, they had they 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 have uh, enjoyed going after me a couple of times. Yes, which is fine. I got I got no problem with that, and uh, it's been. A situation where uh, the unblocking thing, Matthew Berry, they were kind enough to make a donation. I was oblivious. Matthew said, you unblock him. I said, no problem. We got him unblocked. And, and that, that basically is the deal. But in the interim, during this entire time, they have made the jump. Uh, they've become the mainstream media, I think. Mm, that, 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 that lame, mainstream, mainstream media. media. And, and, and well, well, I've been basically just a stoolie all along here. Oh, kind of in, in, uh, in, in coming out world. now. Oh, <laughs> when we're on your block. Okay. I see you, Shefty. <laughs> By the way, that uh, that that uh, donation you speak of, I, I yeah. made it clear to Matthew Berry that was an anonymous donation I made. So I want that. Just make sure everyone knows I was anonymous. It was a humble thing, but it was anonymous. Adam, do you well, ever do you ever look at Twitter and get mad if Ian Rappaport beats you by like five seconds on a tweet? I really tr- try not to pay much attention to that. I really just try to do my job as best as I can and let the chips fall where they will. What about I'm that? W- what about that one free agency year? I think it was like two years ago where I actually took every Rappaport and Schefter tweet, screen grabbed them, and tweeted at you saying Rappaport keeps dunking on you. Did you see that? Again, I'm very comfortable with my track record. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's fair. Um, That's fair. I will I will bring this up in the room. We have Adam Schefter with us, the guys from Barstool, hey, PFT. Wait, wait, here's my I got a question. You go. Go, Adam. PFT? I'm sorry for How hosting the show. PFT? How tall am I? How tall is PFT? I, I'm the exact same height as Danny Woodhead. Uh, me too. You're 5'8 oh, five, you, you, you five, and a half, 5'9"? Five, oh, uh, I'm 5'8". I'm okay. I'm 5'8 and a half. No big deal. Okay, you got me by half inch there, mm-hmm. PFT. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that's good. That, yeah. But I stood, I stood next to Danny Woodhead, and yeah, he, is he five nine? I thought he was about five eight. But okay, you've you've been, you've been in the. We have research in, on uh, it now, Shefty. Keep Danny, oh, I, I wrote a whole I wrote a whole expose. I think that's why it all started. But be in classic Barstool sports fashion, we don't have any of those blocks anymore. Four three five, by the way, in the forty. If Whoa, forgot. okay, Pretty, Whoa. that's deceptively fast. Yeah, four three five. Wow. Because he's short. Very Ooh, he's short. So, hey, so, so anyway, legs, have you guys enjoyed your day there so far? Uh, we we have. Can I can I ask you a question, Shefty? A little NFL uh, real question here. Who's on the hot yeah. seat right now? You know, the funny thing about hot seats is hot seats change year to year. Mm-hmm. And just because you think that there's a coach on the hot seat in June, on June 15th or whatever today is, those things change so quickly that sometimes I just think it's crazy to speculate on a coach being on the hot seat. Now, look. I think everybody could look at the Jets and say, well, they're going to have issues there. They're not going to win very many games by most people's expectations. And if that happens, then you would think that there's going to be some type of change there at, at some point in time. But I, I really don't like to – That's a, it's always a – Never talk about another point. man's job. Well, yeah. It, it, Morton, it's always a, it's a big thing with Morton and I. Always like hot seat. Hot, we, 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 
not, not a big hot seat fan. Okay. What about? Because you know what? Everybody's on a hot seat in the True. NFL. Uh-huh. You produce and you're fine. You don't, you're not. You in life, it's actually. It's you're going to die someday. It's a right. series of one-day contracts, and you have to outperform him every time. What about Bill Belichick? I'm on the, I'm on the hot seat. Yeah. Everyone's on the what hot seat. What about Belichick? Belichick's coaching for his job, right? Yeah, he's definitely coaching for his job. Yeah. Well, he's, he's got a problem if they don't win this year. It is his job to coach, so yeah. he is coaching for his job. <laughs> That's yeah, that's, don't that's exactly use that. Right. That's our joke. Trademark us. Okay, man, it's all, um, it, you guys got it. It's all yours. <laughs> hey, Adam. No thanks. Days off. No days off. Do your job. I think I think everybody's better now for this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. We're, you got to come on the podcast. No. You got to you discuss. Gotta, you got to discuss. So you, we'll you, have you I'm, on. I'm, 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 I'm happy to do it as, as long as you don't put me on the hot seat while we're on that. Okay. Uh, no guarantees. Cool we're we're, we're big journalists. We'll we don't, see how the podcast goes. No conditions going into this interview. Yeah.